So, you have a new show for me? Yes, sir, I do. Wednesday. Okay, I'll see you then. No, that's the name <laughs> of the- Oh, dang it. He this left. This is your office- Okay, he's gone. <laughs> so what's this show idea? Strange that neither of us changed clothes in the past week, by the way. Right, well, the show is called Wednesday. In the past oh, week. you could have told me that last week, you <laughs> dummy. Oh my god, you big weird dummy. So what's this show oh about? Well, it's god. actually going to be based on the Adams family and follow Wednesday Adams as the main character. Oh, okay, as long as it's not a completely original idea. We don't like that. <laughs> no, sir, we don't. So in the show, Wednesday's we going like to get sent to this school for outcasts called Nevermore. And what's that Nevermore place all Academy. about? It's a freaking school for outcasts, sir. And that's where her parents went when they were young. Yeah. Isn't the whole thing with the Adams family concept that it's fun to see how wacky they are when compared to normal people? Yeah, that's right, sir. So to make Wednesday stand out in the show, we're gonna make all the outcasts seem pretty normal. Why not just have her go to a normal boarding school, then? Because we're doing an American Hogwarts kind of thing. See, all the outcasts have magic powers and whatnot. Oh, they do? Yeah, we're talking vampires, sirens, werewolves. Whoa, werewolves and vampires? I bet that's gonna lead to some crazy stuff. Ah, nope. Okay, <laughs> so if you're at this school, you need nope. some kind of powers. Wait, does Wednesday have power? She does, yeah. She started having these psychic visions, but they're a Secret. If her powers are secret, how'd they know to let her in? Hey, shut up until it turns out Morticia has these visions too, oh. and they started when she was at Nevermore. What were Gomez's powers? Uh, getting aroused by Morticia, I guess? I don't know, moving on. All right, so Wednesday's gonna start moving settling on. in at Nevermore, but he she said, sticks out like a sore thumb because she's so dark and edgy mm. compared to the, the literal monsters. Exactly. <laughs> who are the normal ones. Correct. And she's gonna have this bubbly werewolf roommate who can't turn into a werewolf yet. Right. Wow, so like a person pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, Just the people are tough. Some are, yeah, People. sure. And so Wednesday's also gonna have this love triangle with this outcast named Xavier and this yeah. normie guy, Tyler. And what are their right. deals? What are their personalities like? Normie. Pass. And so then we're gonna get into what people really want to see from an Adams Family project. Oh boy, oh what's that? Wednesday Adams going around doing detective work. <laughs> what? Solving mysteries, going around, looking for clues. It's the Adams Family going fan around. dream. Sure, yeah, all right, okay. <laughs> and see, turns out there's a monster in town. Yeah. That's most of the students are monsters. Yeah. But no, this is a scary monster. Oh, it is. Yeah, very scary. It looks like one of those zombies from Plants vs. Zombies. <laughs> and it's killing people. Oh, no. Yeah, monsters aren't supposed to kill people. Well, so now Wednesday has got to solve this mystery because people uh, are dying. Doesn't that seem like the kind of thing Wednesday Adams would right. really like exactly. to happen? Well, see, there also seems to be this prophecy that says Wednesday might end up being responsible for the end of Nevermore Academy. She says that would be her worst nightmare. <laughs> Again, that absolutely sounds like something she'd be really into and happy about. <laughs> well, 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 dang it, okay? It's just, oh, I spent so much time writing this, but well, yeah, that doesn't it. really make sense with Wednesday Adams as the core character. Yeah. Oh, no! Hey, it's okay, it's okay. Oh, my God, this is gonna be so much work to fix. No, it's fine. Nobody's gonna notice. It's just the core concept of the show. It's fine, it's fine. You sure? It's totally okay. It's just we'll the just core. have Wednesday Adams, you know, actively trying to stop horrible things from happening. Okay. Because in retrospect, I have her talking the whole time about how much she loves when that's horrible right. things happen. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's pretty inconsistent with everything that's going to be going on, but it's okay, it's okay, it's fine. It's like all she talks about. Okay, all right, so what else happens? Well, her dad gets accused of having okay, killed right. someone when he was at Nevermore, so obviously Wednesday's pretty upset about mm -hmm. that. She is. Oh, God, that's something this character would like, isn't it? Oh, man. Yeah, probably. It's okay, don't worry about it, move on. Anyway, so it turns out Morticia is actually the one who killed this guy. Uh, she stabbed him with a sword, but he had already been poisoned, so it's okay. Is that how that works? It might be. Yeah. That's good to know. So eventually we're going to find out what that this monster is actually a human that transforms into a monster mm -hmm. called a hide. Okay. So Wednesday's going yeah. around trying to piece together who it might be. Pretty cool. So she's like a really good detective then? Oh yeah, very smart. One of the best, except every single one of her guesses ends up being wrong. <laughs> uh, yeah, she even thinks it might be one of her love interests, guys, even after getting DNA proof that it's not him. Wow. And so eventually we're going to find out that the monster is actually her other love interest mm -hmm. who's being controlled by this teacher at Nevermore. All right, well. 
at least Wednesday finally cracked the case. Yes, she did. See, she had a vision about it, and then they admitted to it. <laughs> like cheating. Nope, it's quality detective work. Cheating. If you say so. So what does this teacher want, and why is she using a monster to kill people? Ah, well, see, she's the descendant of the town founder, Joseph Crackstone, and she wants to bring him back to life. Oh, come. Well, he freaking hated outcasts. He wanted them all dead, just despised anything outcast-related or related to magic. So how does he get brought back to life? Magic. <laughs> oh, yeah, he has a magic staff, and he does magic stuff, and he's magically undead. That's... All right, so <laughs> Crackstone stabs Wednesday because he thinks she's her ancestor who's responsible for killing him. Oh man, well it's gonna be hard for Wednesday to do anything if she's been stabbed. Actually, it's gonna be super easy, barely go. an inconvenience. Oh really? Yeah, go. see her ancestor Goody Adams shows up and heals her with magic. Oh, a very convenient dead ancestor. Goody yeah, Adams. yeah, yeah. So this Goody Adams is a descendant of which side of the family? Morticia, she has similar psychic powers and whatnot. So why was her name Adams back then? <laughs> Shut up and so little Wednesday and her friends are gonna save the school. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Wow. So what do you think? <laughs> well, I mean, it sounds like a pretty good time. I just don't really know if younger generations care about the Adams Family. Did I mention she's gonna do a little dance that I'm pretty <laughs> sure could go viral on TikTok? Oh, young kid use TikTok. Young kid <laughs> like trend, young kid watch show. Young kid like trend, young kid watch show. <laughs> you gotta get money. Oh, oh, now you're getting it. I am, I am money. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, <laughs> that was great. That was fantastic. Hey, look, an honest trailer that was one of the best that we've watched so far and a pitch meeting that is top tier pitch meeting. This is a really, really good pitch meeting. I still gotta do like a top 10. I'm sorry, guys. You guys have been asking me like a top five or top 10 pitch meetings. I might have to do something on that. So I'll, I'll work on that, but this was great. And, and look, disclaimer, I did not finish watching Wednesday. I watched maybe four episodes, three, four episodes. Um, got a little bit tired of it myself, but I spoiled it for myself last year when it came out because I didn't have Netflix and I thought I'm never going to watch this show. And now I have Netflix again and we, and we wanted to watch it. Well, my wife wanted to watch it and my daughter. So we watched it and they watched the whole thing in a day. Uh, where <laughs> they spent pretty much close to a work day watching the whole thing. But I already knew the kid was uh, was the hide. I knew about Christina Ricci being part of it, but I didn't know like kind of fully what that was all about. I didn't see the scene with that other guy and her getting stabbed. I didn't see any of that, but I knew most of what was going on to lead into season two. Uh, and you know, it's it's a show. It's okay. The thing I didn't like about the show is that it could have been any character. It didn't necessarily have to be an Adams Family type situation with the whole monster high scenario happening uh, with, with the students and all the different factions. Um, it just felt very familiar, but, uh, and it didn't feel very Tim Burton-esque to me. Like the music was great, but it didn't have that Tim Burton flair that I'm used to from seeing some of his other work. That was just me. So I didn't really gravitate to it all that much. I also feel like it was a show that people watched because it was popular. I don't know, there just really wasn't anything that I gravitated to with the show or could connect to with the show. I think Jenna Ortega does a great job as Wednesday. She was great. And she kind of holds everything together. But the show is kind of, I don't know, for me, it's a little bit flimsy. I did watch an Alex Myers video on it uh, that he did last month on the show. That was actually very good. A lot of his newer stuff is better. I don't think I'll ever react to it. But because you guys have been asking me to do that too. His older stuff didn't work for me. But his newer stuff has been good. And the video he does on Wednesday is actually very good. He has a lot of good comparisons that the show brings up. Um, you know, just feeling like other things. But... Uh, that was actually pretty good. So if you haven't seen that, check that out when you get a chance. But uh, yeah, I, I mean, I'm good with what I've watched and the recaps I've watched and the Alex Myers video and some of the other videos I've watched on the show are more fun than watching the show to me. That's just, I don't know, it's just me. So let me know your thoughts on the show though. Wednesday, did you watch it? Did you enjoy it? Let me know your thoughts on the pitch meeting because he kills it here. This is hilarious. Like everything he says about the show, great. And just the fact that She's doing things that are counterintuitive to more or less how she is as a person and what she would actually enjoy and like to see. She's like trying to stop those things. It is a little bit weird. But he he talks about all that here. So it's great. As always, thanks so much for watching. Appreciate you guys for all the support that you give and however you support. I think it's really amazing. So thank you so much. Check out the end screen for more videos you can watch with me and laugh with me on. And as always, I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care.